Just worship with me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless him. Hallelujah. Somebody glorify Jesus. This is what they call the Passion Week, a season of serious consecration, a series of repentance, a season of turning away from all our sins and remembering all the things that our Lord and Jesus Christ went through. So I'm going to be speaking very briefly today on consecration. Consecration. There's a song that says, Take my heart and let it be consecrated Lord today. A lot of people think that they can go through life behaving just the way they want and get desires or whatever they want out of life. It is not correct. Life has its own rules. Life has its own basis. Life has its own uh, uh, policies that we must also follow. The Bible says, Be ye holy, for I the Lord your God, I am holy. Be ye holy, I, the Lord your God, I am holy. Yesterday we spoke about sacrifice. Today we're speaking about consecration, consecrating ourselves, getting ourselves ready, putting ourselves in a holy place, waiting for receiving the body and the blood of Jesus Christ that we'll be sharing tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a very, very special Holy Communion service. So you sacrifice yesterday, you are consecrating yourself today and preparing yourself to be ready to receive that great sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What is consecration? Consecration consists of number one, repentance, turning away from your worldly ways. Number two, study and immersion in the Word and the Spirit of God. And number three, separation unto holiness separation unto holiness and righteousness and a determination to live right by God's word, to live right by God's principles and to live right by what God wants. These are the prerequisites for the blessings of God. These are the prerequisites to your prayers by God. These are the prerequisites for living a full, holy and joyous life. These are the prerequisites for placing a demand on God. You can go to God and say, I have lived a holy life, I've been righteous, I've been consecrated unto you, therefore, you have no reason not to answer my prayers. Consecration. And consecration does not deny you of your peace, does not deny you of your enjoyment of the good things of life, does not deny you of your fellowship with other people, doesn't even deny you of your parties. They say that people of Western Nigeria, they enjoy going to parties. But you must go to a party as a consecrated person. No alcohol, no lust, no lewd looks, no manners of gluttony and all sorts of things. Our Lord Jesus Christ went indeed to a few dinners and a few parties as a consecrated person, as an example to others of what a good Christian should be, as a, an example to others of somebody committed to God to be. It is consecration that gives you strength the kind of strength that Samson had. The Bible says, how was this guy was to be treated? It says, let him have no wine, let him have no strong drink, let him be a Nazarite unto God, even to the end of the days. It is consecration that gives you boldness. A friend of mine was telling me recently when he took up a, a, a job to be a director, a chairman of a certain group, he says he didn't take any allowances, he didn't take any money from them, he didn't want anything because he wanted the moral high ground to be able to challenge them, to be able to tell them the things that he needed to do. Consecration gives you the moral high ground, gives you the boldness to say what you need to say, knowing that there's no sin, no skeleton in your cupboard. You need to be consecrated so that the power of the word, the power of the gospel, the power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can fall afresh upon you. Make up your mind today. It just takes a determination, a willingness, and a commitment to be consecrated. Things might be tough in Nigeria. You may have to give up a few things in Nigeria. You may have to walk away from some transactions in Nigeria. But I want to assure you that in the long run, 
you win. Consecrate yourself to God today and watch him do something wonderful. Don't forget, tomorrow we shall be having a special Holy Communion ministration right here also. So please stay tuned and see you tomorrow.